here as a individual they are every investors are compulsory want to open a demat account dematerialized account so with the help of demat account investor protection because as i am investing uh, any specific asset or company okay definitely i want to get a safety or protection you need to educate then only the investors are coming forward to investing surplus savings whatever they have everyone a warm welcome to one and all i am natesh lachor in commerce vidyashram first grade college mysu the temple of excellence we are in the unit 3 section 4 fifth semester bcom financial institution and market the chapter name is primary market and secondary market and today my agenda so you are getting a more clarity in the last session the procedure of secondary stock exchange now which is a settlement procedure in the stock market uh, what uh, the, exactly the settlement is going on in between the investors as well as company okay and the problem of indian stock market what major problems are facing by faced by the indian um, uh, stock uh, secondary market and what are the objective of sebi okay each and every uh, regulation authority having an objective like sebi also having a important objective and uh, uh, you are getting a more clarity about the functions of uh, sebi security exchange board of india and the role of secondary market what are the major role are taking care by the secondary market and uh, next one reform of a secondary market so moving forward one by one the first one the settlement procedure in the stock market so the settlement uh, which is quite similar to the clearing and settlement okay if the payments are going in uh, there uh, if if any investors are purchasing a uh, stock like uh, security or bond or debenture so the payment side so uh, if they are going for selling definitely the, they are expecting a money back so which is going for the settlement procedure the first one trade confirmation the trade confirmation suppose as a investor they are placing order they are uh, they have a complete freedom to go for one lot two lot three lot okay how many numbers of uh, shares they are purchasing so which is nothing but after placing an order the trade confirmations will be reflecting on your app a particular app you can able to see that confirmation next one the clearing so which is nothing but the clearing is actually the payment settlement in t, uh, when the payment is going for uh, transferring into the respected company through the proper exchange channel okay so which is a clearing and uh, next one settlement instruction as a investor they want to follow the settlement uh, instruction okay so the, there are for example uh, t2 uh, means uh, trading two days uh, settlement uh, okay or intra trade or uh, try to go for delivery so the settlement instruction as a investors uh, as well as company they want to follow here and uh, next one security transfer easily the security may be your stock can be transfer your bond can be transfer your debentures okay so the transferring process from the uh, suppose i am a shareholder i don't want to hold my shares i can go for a transferring to somebody or i can sell so which is the procedure and the fund transfer so here as a individual they are every investors are compulsory want to open a demat account dematerialized account so with the help of demat account where i can get the demat account so we, uh, which is coming under the investment bank respected investment bank are tie up with the uh, security exchange a uh, next one the settlement date when exactly the settlement is happening for example today i am going to sell so the settlement the payment is reflecting in my account so which is a settlement date and uh, next one delivery versus payment so the delivery versus suppose any specific stock i have today i have purchased like uh, uh, 12th uh, second so here the after deliver the payment or going for immediately crediting or it is reflecting in my account i need to go for the payment it's very important and uh, next one post settlement activity after settlement uh, what kind of activity which is related to the settlement so which is a post after settlement next one record keeping each and every transactions are completely recording with the proper system which is a record keeping okay the company want to maintain the record keeping what is the face value what is the market value everything which is recorded and next one regulatory compliance okay as a individual company unless they are not meeting the regular uh, regulatory requirement what and all which is coming under the governance here moving to the 
problem of uh, Indian stock market, what major problems Indian stock market are facing? The first one, lack of investor awareness. Because here, uh, with the developed country like uh, US, uh, okay, if you take U US, uh, U Europe, uh, okay, so there uh, the capital rising is very easy with the help of security. But here, in, in Indian customer, Indian investors are not aware. So how I can educate them? So that's what uh, each and every university or syllabus or stream. Uh, so the specific commerce related topic like a security exchange, uh, okay, security topic. Uh, so uh, if they're keeping in the uh, syllabus definitely they can study okay so they can get more clarity what kind of instruments are available how i can approach how i can invest uh, so that i can get more clarity so here indian customers are lacking okay for awareness next one uh, market manipulation so manipulation which is nothing but the changes are going in the market uh, as a investor as an individual company they want to accept the changes Okay, so this is also very important factor. So what are the major contributions we are finding for calculations and volatility? So which is not always constant, either if it is the share price is going high or decreasing in the manner. So the, there is a lot of volatility we are finding. And the next one, liquidity concern. Every investors are bothering about the liquidity, liquidity position, which is easily converting into the cash. Okay, so always they're bothering here and the risk management so most of the investor they don't have any idea they don't have any knowledge how to manage the risk factor that is also very important factor so using a different tools uh, statistical tools uh, analysis uh, so uh, you can predict the future risk uh, and the uh, insufficient uh, investor protection because as i am investing uh, any specific asset or company okay definitely i want to get a safety or protection so the protection part is uh, now you can find out in the uh, security exchange board of india which is giving assurance for the investor security protection okay because they invested money next one what are the objective of sebi the main objective is the sebi objective is the investor protection as a sebi uh, is a right authority they want to protect the interest for the okay investor so giving a, a protection next one Regulation and development of security market. There are uh, because uh, different different bodies are following a different regulation act or a different uh, amendments are different. So here the development uh, because you are raising a fund. If you are raising a fund, you can go utilize for the industry to start industry or going for a merger and acquisition. So obviously, it's, uh, which is very very essential for okay any country. Ensuring a fair practice and code of conduct. So everywhere we can find out the guidelines, code of conduct. So like this only want to invest, uh, uh, you have to open a DMAT account. So what is the quantity size, uh, when you can go for investing. So here yeah, the fair transaction, the fair practice when you are introducing. So obviously investors are accepting. Next one, promotion of fair and transparent trading practice. So promotion of fair. Uh, it is nothing but uh, they want to promote, uh, create awareness. Lot of investors are uh, they are coming forward to go for investing. Okay, so whatever the transaction in between company and as well as investor, if the transaction are transparent, so obviously which is very good for. Next one, regulation of intermediator. So in between investors and the company, there is a brokers or intermediators are connected. They are acting like an agent. So some guidance is required for them also. Next one, educating and informing investor. You need to educate. Then only the investors are coming forward to investing surplus savings, whatever they have. So you need to go for informing the investor. We are there to protect you. Oh, you can go for investing like this. Okay, moving to... The functions of SEBI, okay, the function, the main function, the registration of market intermediator. Anybody they want to part in the stock, stock exchange, so definitely they want to follow registration license is required, uh, escrow account is compulsory. Next one, the regulation of stock exchange. Again, the stock exchange, majorly Bombay stock exchange or national stock exchange or Kolkata stock exchange, whatever the stock exchange is there, so definitely they want to follow the uh, regulations. 
and the next one regulation for mutual fund mutual fund which is a one kind of portfolio so which is a diversification what you are getting the finance or uh, capital formation you are reinvesting for the different sector so some regulation is requ required for the mutual fund company next one monitoring insider trading every day the transaction whatever the market is opened uh, the day to day transaction what is the movement uh, everything you need to monitor using a proper system okay so that's what uh, electronic trading is very very useful next one the regulation of credit rating agency so the credit rating agency uh, something uh, which is uh, the guidelines is given to the uh, regulations for the credit rate agency okay next uh, moving to the role of secondary market what are the major role secondary market the first one uh, facilitated liquidity liquidity you know it is a uh, easily conversion will happening okay so the cash you can expect the the facilitating uh, next one price discovery you can monitor you can discover the price what is going on this share price or present price or future price you can predict and the risk management if investment is always a risk is involved you you have to manage the risk okay next one the capital formation so obviously the secondary market also you are raising a capital in between uh, primary market also you can expect the secondary market also capital formation why it is very important why it is useful to our rising a fund either the company are going for expansion or acquisition merger or expanding or purchasing equipment the fund is required so that is uh, will happening here secondary market now next one exit mechanism if anybody they don't want to hold the stock what they have easily they can go for outs so that is an exit mechanism how you can exit from the uh, what you are holding okay so next one the reform in the secondary market what kind of reformers are we are finding in the secondary market the first one technological advancement there are too many technologies are involved okay so obviously the technology advance whatever is coming in the uh, future uh, we need to adapt then only because everybody now they are not going for the paper investing so they are going for the electronic platform so that the technology and the regulatory measure we need to regulate what kind of measures are uh, it is involved in the next one market infrastructure we have to provide the best infrastructure for investing so that is the market uh, exactly next one product diversification easily you can go for diversification of your product and next one investor education and protection you have to educate the investor then only they are coming forward to go for investing so at the same time you need to give a protection for them then only they are satisfied they are coming again and again go for re reinvesting and next one global integration we are able to compete with the global market so obviously uh, globally we are trying to do for the marketing okay so next one corporate governance which is a governing by the corporate there are different types of company we are finding so obviously the governance role is important here keep on watch for next section thank you